What is up guys, Red Baron Owens here. Today I'll be showing you how to host your own Halo Online server. This will allow your friends to go on Halo Online and see your server and join and play with you, or people you don't know can come and play. So first things first, you have to port forward your router. Now your router is that thing in the corner of your house that makes your internet into Wi-Fi and projects it for everyone to connect or it just adds on more Ethernet ports to your modem so you can plug in your computer if you don't have wireless. But what you have to do is port forward it and what that does is it allows other people to connect to your internet essentially and get the data of your server that you're hosting on Halo and play with you pretty much. And if you don't port forward it, no one else can connect to it because they don't have that ability to connect to your internet and get that data which you're sending to them from the game. So what you need to do is you need to open up the internet and you need to go generally to 192.168.1.1 this is pretty much for every single person you have to do that it might be 0 0.0 at the end though and your um, router will have a default username and password and for mine mine's a Nekia router and mine just happens to be admin and then password I do believe I'll have a link in the description with a site that has all the default passwords and usernames. Now this process will be different for every single person because not everyone has the same router. If you happen to have the same homepage as me, you're lucky because you can just copy me. But if you do not, you want to look and read all the tabs and try to figure out where you can find what I'm going to talk about next. Now what you need to look for is port forwarding. It should be under some setting in your router. In my case, I would click on advanced because it's kind of more advanced than the general stuff. And then I'd hit um, advanced setup. And as you see here, there's port forwarding and port triggering. Now we want to port forward some ports. So for me, I have to add a custom service. Now there's three ports you have to port forward. So the first port, your port forwarding, it's just a TCP port and you want to name it Halo Online Server. Shoot. Halo Online Server 1. And the external starting port is 11775. And the ending port is 11775. And then your internal IP address is the local IP address of the computer you're on that's hosting the server. So mine just happens to be 0.5 at the end but every person will have a different one. And also, every time your computer connects to your router, it will automatically get a different one, which will mess up your port forward. Now, my router, when I select this, will keep mine the same, so every time I connect, it never changes. But if, you're, if you don't have that set, or if your router is different, you have to make your IP address static. Static means not changing. So there's some setting on your router, depending on what router you have. Just Google your router and Google how to make your IP address static and that will make your IP address not change every time you connect. But a lot of routers already do this if you're port forwarding stuff to them. So click apply and the first port is port forwarded. So there's two other ports we have to do. So I'm gonna add another custom service. Name this port Halo Online Server 2. And this is a UDP port. Now the external starting port is 11774. And the ending port's the exact same as the starting port. And once again, my local IP is right here. All right. And then you want to apply that. And you have to add one last port. And this last port is a UDP port. Name it Halo Online Server 3. Now these names don't matter. It's just for organizational stuff. And this port number is 9987. Now, everyone that's hosting a server uses these ports, and that's what allows you to connect to them. The game automatically scans for these ports. So, right here, same IP address, and there you go, apply that. So, as you can see here, I have three new ports added. And once you do that, you're pretty much done. But once again, as I said, you wanna make your IP address static, your internal IP address of your computer, so it never changes. And you can just X out of the internet once you're done with that. And you're good to go. So I'll show you that it works. You want to open up the El Dorito, the Dorito updater. And under settings, you can customize your server. So I'll make the server name Red Baron Owns Server. 
and the password i'm not going to add a password because i want people to be able to join and play with me and i'm only doing 10 people because my computer only has eight gigs of ram and my internet's not too fast so the more people you do you want to have a really good computer so it can like have a fast speedy connection and run these processes and if your internet's really slow you probably can't host that many people so i'm just going to do 10 and yeah that's good so play game uh oh i'm encountering an error so when you encounter the encounter those errors try running it as an administrator and see that error is fixed now that I wouldn't have fixed it, I would have turned my computer off, turned it back on, and hopefully that would work. All right, guys, so now you wanna use your arrow keys and click enter to host multiplayer, and then scroll up to network and do online, click host game. And here you can choose your maps and everything. I'm just gonna keep last resort and click start and your server will launch and party is open for others to join now I'll just play until more people join so you can see that my server is online and working and like fly back and forth but balls <laughs> everyone's on the same team that's not supposed to happen. Yeah, I said I could host a server. I didn't say I could run one successfully, so. <laughs> all right, so. Maybe I should end the video here. I'll let you guys all. Yeah, you know, I'm ending the server anyway, so. <laughs> yeah. Alright, that's how you host a server, guys. Thank you for watching, and if this video worked, please. Oh, someone's on the other team. He figured it out. Thank you for watching, guys. If this video works for you, please hit that like button down below and share and subscribe to my channel for more tutorial videos regarding Halo and other video games. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. See ya.